Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script an add point command on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game and as you'll see, we can run our add point command. So we're just going to say explanation point and then the command is going to be add point. We can pass in the username that we want to give points to and then we just pass in the amount of points and then there we go, it gives us points. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we have to do before we can start scripting our add point command, we have to create a point system. All this is going to be is a leaderboard on the top right of our screen that can save and load points. Um, and it just makes it so we have something to actually modify with our add point script. Um, so all I want to do is if you already have a point leaderboard, that's fine. You don't have to worry about this part. Um, but if you don't have it, I linked a script in the description that has a point system in it. Just create a new script under server script serviced, paste all the code from there in that, um, and then just go to game settings, security, and then enable studio access to API services, save it, and then you'll be good to go. And then we can start scripting our add point command. Okay, so now that you have your point system set up, we can actually start working on our add point command. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new script under server script service. Um, and I'm just going to name this script add point command, but you can name it anything you'd like. Um, and the first line that we want in this script is we want to create a variable for our group ID. We need a group for this to manage our permissions to make sure that only certain ranks in the group will be able to run this add point command. Um, so you want to have a group set up and just copy that ID to your clipboard and we're just going to put it inside of a variable. So we'll say local group ID equals, uh, and I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but you want to put your group ID here. Um, and then I want to set up one more variable after this that has to deal with permissions. And this is going to be the minimum rank to use the command. So in this case, mine is going to be rank 254, which is admin. But you just want to put in your rank ID right there. And anyone at this rank or above it will be able to run this add point command. So we'll say local minimum rank to use command equals and then 254 or whatever rank you have for your group. After this, what we're going to want to do is we need to get whenever a player joins the game. Now, I know you're probably wondering why, why do we care if a player joins the game? Um, and the reasoning behind this is because the only way we can get when a player chats or when they run a command is by first getting when they join the game, by getting their player object and being able to hook into their chatted event. Um, so all we have to do is say game.players and we're going to hook into the player added event. So whenever a player joins the game, we want to connect that to a function, so we're going to run some code. Um, and then inside of here, I just want to grab the player. So whenever a player joins, we're going to grab who that player is, um, and then we're going to be able to hook into some events and stuff for them later on. After this, what I want to do, before we move any further, I want to check the player's rank. I want to make sure, are they actually authorized? Are they supposed to be using this command? You know, we don't want trainees or someone of a really low rank uh, or a rank below our minimum rank to be able to run this command because they might abuse it. So what we're going to do, we're going to check the rank by saying if player and then we're going to call the get rank in group method of player and then we're going to pass in our group ID. So if the rank in our group is greater than or equal to if they're at our rank or above it, minimum rank to use command, then what we want to do is we know they're authorized and now we can check to see whenever they chat and then we can get when they run the command and then actually add points to other users in our game. So what I want to do next is I want to get whenever a player sends a message in the chat. It doesn't matter what this message is. It could be hello world. It could be I have a lot of coins. It could be any message. We just want to get whenever they send a message because the, when they do this, we are able to check the message and see if they actually wanted to run our add point command. So we're going to say player and then I'm going to hook into the chatted event. So whenever the player chats, I want to connect it to a function. Um, and then in here, I want to grab the message. So whenever they chat, we grab what they said in the chat. Um, and then after this, I need a way of checking to see did they run the command first of all? Did they run our add point command? Second, did they specify a player that they want to give points to? And if they did, what? how many points do they want to give? Do they want to give 10 points? Do they want to give 20? You know, we need to actually split up this message to figure out what the player wants to do. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a function called string.split. So I'm going to say local words. I want to split up the string into multiple words. And I'm going to set that equal to string.split. So we're going to split up our message 
and then I want to split it on the space. So what this is going to do, if the player was to say hello world in chat, it would give us an array with hello as the first object and world as the second object. In our case, if they ran the add point command like this, if they said this in chat, maybe like add point username 10 or however many points they wanted to give, then it would bring us an array that would say add point as our first one or our command, username as our second object, and then 10 as the final one. So this makes it super easy for us to actually check the command and check the username and see how many points do we actually want to give to that user. So we split it up into words and then after that I want to check to see if they actually ran the add point command. So we're going to say if the first word or words one is equal to add point then we know they want to run the command and we know they're actually ready to give points to another user. So now that we know the player actually wants to run our add point command, I want to get two variables. Um, and these are going to be the name of the player that we want to give points to, along with the amount of points that we want to give to that player. Um, so the way we're going to do this, it's going to be super easy because we have our words array. We're just going to say local name of player to give point, and that's going to be equal to words two, so our second word. And then I also want to grab the amount of points to give, so however many points we want to give to that player, and that's going to be equal to words three. Um, and now this is great, we have everything we need, but there's one tiny problem, um, and that is that this variable right here, all it has is the name of the player that we want to give points to. We don't actually have the player object itself. You know, whenever you go into a Roblox game, there's an object created underneath our players folder with the player itself. Um, and then under here we have all of our things, such as leader stats, points, you know, backpack player GUI, anything that has to deal with the player is generally created underneath of this player object right here. So this is what we want to get a reference to in our script. We don't just want the name of that player. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable called player to give point. Uh, and then all we have to say is we want to set this equal to game.players colon find first child name of player to give point. So all this is going to do, it's going to find the child underneath the players. It's going to find the player that has the name of whatever we passed in in our command. Now, this is great once again, but there's one tiny problem with this, and that is the fact that we don't know if this player is in the game or if the player exists. So before we actually increment their points, or before we give them a point, we want to check to make sure that player is in our game. So we're going to say if player to give point, and it's super easy, then we know they're in our game. That's all we had to do for the check. The player is in our game, and they're ready to receive a point. Uh, and now we can actually increment their points. So we'll say, player to give point dot leader stats dot points dot value so whatever their current points value is we want to set that equal to their current points value plus however many points we wanted to give so we're just going to increment it by however many points we specified um, and then it'll give them the points and that's actually all we have to do for the script we can go in the game real quick to test it out uh, and as you'll see, all we'll have to do is if we run our command in the chat, because I'm above that rank we specified in the group, I have permission to run it. We can say add point, and we'll pass in the username, and then we can say however many points you want to give. I want to give 20, and there we go. It gives us the points. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the paste in the link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description, and I'll see you guys later.